Whoa! Hey, hey, it's okay. Take it easy now. You took a pretty good hit from one of those bomb birds. Where are we? Oh, Maru and I managed to drag you and your frame to safety. We're aboard my orbiter now. You're safe here. Will that be all? Yeah. Thanks for the help. Give Arzia my regards. And don't touch anything on the way out. I mean it. I'm not playing around. Yeah, yeah, sure. <sighs> she never changes. Hey, don't get up. Lay back down. Your Warframe is fine. Ordis is taking care of it as we speak. So, let's focus on your recovery, okay? That's it. I've got you. Oh, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Rave. I was piloting that Rhino with the Opticor earlier. And you are? That's a beautiful name. I saw you got knocked down and I came running. Unfortunately, when that rocket hit you, you got blown out of your frame somehow and lost consciousness. How did that happen? You were trying to use your focus skill. I see. Guess it was unlucky timing. Hmm? I'm rubbing your head. Oh! I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was... Huh? It's okay. You find it soothing. Alright then. I can keep going if you'd like. Of course. What's up? Where did I learn to do this? Hmm. Before the void jump into Zeraman, I used to be quite the nervous kid. Well, I guess you could say I was still nervous long after. But back then, my mother would always calm me down by doing this for me. When she was gone and we had Margulis, she would also do the same while she sung. I guess even Void Powers couldn't stand a chance against the Loving Touch.
Now that I remember those days, as horrific as the surrounding events were, I still miss it. Suppose this is just a manifestation of that. <laughs> still hear them sometimes. Does it still haunt you? Make you uneasy? Shh, shh. It's okay. I still hear them too. You don't have to deal with it alone. At least, not right now. What do I do when I can't sleep? Well, I usually go to Cetus. Remembering how much Konzu wants his early lunch usually helps drown out the whispers. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Dadap Sura, help me get this done so that Konzu go have early lunch. <laughs> I swear, one day Saya's gonna slap him upside the back of his head. Oh, now there's a smile. <laughs> if you'd like, you could come with me from time to time. I hear Nakak needs some help with gathering some pearls. You know how annoying the Grenier can be. <laughs> First hand, right. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I also frequently visit Fortuna and the Necrolisk as well. You gotta keep Neff at bay and the heart pumping after all. Did you know that Latrox actually camps out in the Cambian Drift? He has got a lot of courage in his bones. And a nose of steel. Oh, and Legs has been working on something new with all of the parts we've been bringing back. I'm excited to see what'll it be. Sorry, I must be getting a little chatty. You should be getting some rest after all. Well, I'm glad you don't mind. It's nice to just be with another Tenno outside of our operations. It can get rather lonely out here in space. Not that Ortis and Sai aren't good company. Speaking of which, I've had them send a transmission to your Cephalon to let them know that you're okay. Your orbiter's nearby. I can help you to it when you're in the condition to move. You're welcome. Now. 
Just get some rest. I'll be right here. Mm-hmm. 